really put themselves in our shoes and try to picture what kind of feelings or what kind of loss they'd be going through had it been one of their family members. A family in anguish, the sister of a popular teacher asking for your help tonight in solving her murder, which police now say is connected to four others in San Bernardino. All the victims are targeted in the same part of the city that's frequented by gangs. Now tonight, KKLI's Nicole Comstock is live at police headquarters with more. Nicole? Susie, that teacher's family tells us they truly believe she was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. And that as heartbreaking as this new break in the case is this evening, it does give them some hope that eventually whoever's responsible for killing all of these people will be caught. Suspect. Newly released security video shows a white car arriving at San Bernardino's Delman Heights Park. Soon after, a 25 year old mother and middle school teacher was shot to death here as she sat in the driver's seat of her boyfriend's truck with her five year old son in the back. Right after that white car was caught on camera again, quickly taking off. Six months later, hearing that there might be a glimpse of hope. I mean, it's definitely like a small weight lifted off of our shoulders. Guadalupe says her family was starting to fear that her sister Nancy Magana's murder would turn into a cold case. Like, we just want to know who was responsible for this. Homicide detectives are now saying whoever's responsible for killing Nancy may also be responsible for killing four other people in three different shootings, and they need help figuring out who that is. They're very close to each other, a couple miles apart. It's the west side of our city, a um, high gang area. At a press conference Tuesday, detectives released more video evidence of this getaway car, possibly a 2010 Hyundai Sonata, driving through a neighborhood near Cajon and Darby. This was a short time after this red car crash near the train tracks back in September, killing a two-year-old girl inside after her father was shot in the head. And in the past three weeks alone, these three men were also shot to death in two other shootings nearby. I mean, we can definitely relate to what all the other families are going through. Guadalupe says her sister was just starting to take this world by storm. The recent Cal State San Bernardino graduate was just two weeks into her teaching career that she pursued to help her community and spend every second she could with the son now left without a mother. He's a perfect little boy in a broken world. <laughs> And the San Bernardino Police Department is asking you to give them a call if you have information about any of these cases. As always, you can remain anonymous. Nancy's family is hoping you have the courage to do so. Reporting live in San Bernardino, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News. All right, Nicole, thank you.